Yep, we're live. Live. We live in here. Look at precious. Look at this little thing. She's all checking it all out. She's all confused. Hey, baby girl. Come here. This is Calvin's replacement, precious. <laughs> I got replaced by a small doggo. Don't know how I feel about this. Oh goodness. Hey guys, Calvin came down for the night, so we're gonna do a quick little live stream. Just us and the dog. Say what's up. Calvin just got to meet Precious about five minutes ago. Literally, this is the dog compared to my cell phone. Like <laughs> this dog is tiny. <laughs> She's so precious. I know. Who's that little girl? Yeah, it's right. <laughs> hey Eddie, how you doing? DV3D, thank you for joining. A Aaron is in the house. We were talking about you earlier today over at work. It was great. <laughs> He's talking about all of us. <laughs> well, bot, how's it going? Yep, that's my baby girl. That's precious. Oh, you're going to catch something if you go after that. <laughs> my shaver is buried somewhere in the house. <laughs> yeah. As Beth said, you might have to take Precious over next door. She said, go ahead. If she gets too wiggly, you can bring her back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. What's up, guys? So, how, how's the trip coming down here today? It was decent. I mean, I got stuck in line for Chick-fil-A at 1.30 on a Friday, but that's Chick-fil-A. It's always crowded. It always is. I mean, shoot, when I go out to the one in Walnut Creek, even on Thursdays at like 2 in the afternoon, there's literally a line that wraps around the building and pretty much like goes out into the street. I kid you not. Really? Yeah. Because Which one did you go to? Even if I'm on Walnut Creek working on stuff at Scott's house, I'll go to that one. Mm -hmm. Usually I go to the one in Milpitas because it's right off 237. Oh, okay. And that one tends to have... I mean, the one in the one on South and San Jose is pretty good too, but um, I've always gone to the Milpitas one because that was on my way to the train station years ago. And I've always liked that one because I find it has slightly faster service than the South San Jose one, but it all depends. But there, I think part of the problem is there's so few of them. The demand is so high. Oh yeah. But no, it's so good though. It's more of a, it's kind of like in and out is here. It's it's more of a destination yeah. type location. You, 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 one does not just go to Chick-fil-A for the chicken sandwich. They go to Chick-fil-A for the whole experience. <laughs> Got to eat Lord's Nuggets, you know? Oh, yeah. The Lord's Nuggets. <laughs> you know what I told my sister, right? When we went in there. I'm like, and then when you, then if you, you know, you, you get into heaven, there's, there's, there's a section for the people who went to Chick-fil-A while they were alive and then everybody else. Yeah, she didn't get that. That's joke. called hell, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Something like that. <laughs> You're so bad. <laughs> Whole experience? <laughs> no, it's just, if you've never been to one, pretty much it's like all the employees there are like extremely polite, extremely friendly. It's just, it's an, it's it's definitely not your typical fast food environment. But yeah. it's, you know, but it's, it, it's in a good way. I mean, that's, that's part of the reason why I like it so much. Yeah, it's just that nice baby girl right there. Yes, it is. Oh, I see you're a little bit tired now. She had shots today. Oh, well, that'll wear you out. Yeah. Beth, I take her to the vet. Uh, 10 o'clock this morning, they warmed her again because they, they sit on new puppies. They always like to warm them twice. And then uh, they give them, I think, two rounds of shots and all that. So the next thing would be to get her licensed and all that stuff. All that fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he's baby girl right there. She sleeps right between me and Beth all night long. Oh, man. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. No, af after you lost your other dog and knowing how much that dog meant to you when, and all the hell you went through to find a new one, I felt so bad for you. And then you finally found one. It's yeah. like, awesome. Yeah. She's not like a cat. At least she loves you. Cats don't love you. Yeah. I've heard if you if if you die and you're locked in the house of the cat, they'll eat you. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> now I could actually I could actually see a dog potentially doing that, but it'd be pretty rare. Yeah. I mean, I'm not I'm not putting it past an animal, and quite honestly, I would not I would not blame them for doing it as a survival thing. But it's also not exactly an image I'd exactly like if I was to pass away in my house with my pet. Aaron's asking if I got you all fixed up. 
Turned out he didn't have a screw that went all the way into his tire. It only was in the outer tread of the tire. So it didn't, it didn't penetrate all the way. I got, I got lucky on that one. But when I saw a screw in my tread and being that my tire did go pretty low to flat at one point, I do think actually the problem was, you know how some of the valve stems have that rubber. Yeah. I think what happened is when I popped that off and then put it back on, when I pumped my tire up at the Chevron station, like about a week ago, earlier that day, cause it was kind of on the low side. Yeah. I think what actually happened is I didn't put the valve, the seal was not in there correctly and it was slow. The, the silicone seal wasn't in there correctly. And when mm -hmm. I tightened it, it probably was slowly leaking air. Cause while I was gone for about six or eight hours in class, I came out to a flat tire. So then I just pumped it up to about 15 or 20 pounds. So it wasn't low and just hobbled to the gas station and pumped them all up. But it's been good ever since. PV3D says your dog is getting a license so she can drive whatever she wants. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Any... Well, like if she gets lost, they'll be able to give, get her back to me <laughs> or at least charge me for her running at large. <laughs> yeah. Eddie's going, I found out who Calvin is modeling his looks after. Yeah, I'm going for the Jimmy Shaw's Tippets look. It's really cool. Oh, God. <laughs> What's up, Nathan? And how's it going, Robbie? <laughs> everything, everything looks so different. Yeah. <laughs> Is somebody wanting to come over here now? No, she's happy where she's at. She's like, people are giving me attention. That's all I ask for in life. I'm just going to like, I'm such an attention whore. Oh my God. You're about as bad as Ashley's cat, the intern that like begs attention <laughs> from you all the time. I love it. I get over there and Ashley's like, hey, hey, Elsa, Calvin's here, like runs to the stool and jumps up. And I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Hey, Paul, how you doing? Doing good. Thank you. So Eddie's got a great wrench. <laughs> the great wrench of do-nothingness. <laughs> I don't know. You can do some damage with that wrench. Yeah. yeah. You can do some damage with it. Daniel's like, why the heck do I have a wrench next to my name? I'm like, that makes you a moderator. It just makes you look more important. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, you do not have to do anything with it, but it just makes you look cooler. She goes, oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh goodness so how's everybody's week going so far you guys ready for the weekend tomorrow i'm gonna go see willie nelson you're gonna get so baked second hand oh yeah oh i don't even have to take nothing there all i gotta do is go he, he just he just know what the rock is cooking <laughs> he, he's just gonna drive by there and just like get high practically and it's on a college campus is at the Flint Center. So, yeah. Dude, anymore, it's like, quite honestly. I mean, Willie's going to have all of it he ever wants right there. Are you sure Cheech and Chong aren't going to come out there? And Probably like... will. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is going downhill fast already. Uh, who cares? You have not given A.A. Ron a wrench yet? How I dare haven't. you? How dare you? How come I haven't given him a wrench? Well, that's not my fault. It's not my stream. Go ahead, Aaron. Go ahead. Say something. Say it. I has say a Say it. <laughs> Frank, BB3D's going, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Pow. Pow. <laughs> <laughs> now he's got a wrench. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> something. <laughs> How come Wilbon doesn't have a wrench? Gosh, you stingy uh, wrench person. You're worse than me. You get a wrench. Everybody and gets you a wrench. Get a wrench. <laughs> We're just going to relabel this. Everybody gets a wrench. Everybody gets a wrench. <laughs> so, Eddie, who has a wrench, is saying, Have you upgraded your tornado to the TMC drivers yet? No, because I learned that my tornado does not have drivers that can be removed, they're soldered onto the board. Well, that's dumb. Yeah. So the newer version turns out the newer version doesn't have the nicer drivers in it. That that one has removable drivers, so you can upgrade it. Dude, my my form bot down here, the complete disaster of a machine that I traded my old job for that we got like three years ago, has removable stinking drivers on it. I kid you not. Yeah, it's got a horrible board too. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm yanking that horrible board out that would literally cause the machine to freeze like every hour or two 
unless you printed it over USB. And even printing it over USB, it would just randomly freeze for about a second or two and get going. So I'm going to throw the board out. I'm going to save the drivers because they might actually be halfway decent for spares. But I'm just going to literally throw the board out. It's not worth it. I know, Eddie. I know. I am a horrible listener. <laughs> Dude, this dog is like falling asleep over here. Ah, uh, she does that all the time. And then she'll knock out, and then about the middle of the night, she'll take and start attacking everything. Oh gosh, she's a good girl though. Yeah, you heartless wretch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alkish. Oh, shout out to Alkish with his sweet um, models that he's come up with. The what are they all? I think a Santa, a reindeer. Uh, snowman and something else is uh, napkin holders. Cool. I mean, I'm, I actually, I have not filmed Saturday's video yet and I'm probably going to drive back tonight and I'll probably just shoot it in the morning, but those are totally taking over the really cool, but I want to support somebody tiny um, snowflake ones. I think I might actually just do it more as a general video and just put together a little, I'll, I'll feature them in the video, but I'll put a link to the various other really cool you know, last minute 3D printable gift items. Yeah. Because the whole idea with the whole thing is I was going to do bigger prints, but I'm like, I want to keep this simple stuff or it's like the elf is great because you can use that as like a, um, as a gift, you know, that you can give people or things like that. Yeah, yeah. Alkish, it's a uh, Santa Rudolph, Snowman and Normal Reindeer. They're awesome. Totally awesome. So what are you doing? Trying to find out why it's blurred. Hey, what's up, 3D Manic Vince? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Let me uh, try posting the link to this stuff in chat so you guys can check it out. It seriously is cool stuff. Ah, for some reason, it went out of focus for some reason. It's still not the greatest. I don't know what's going on with it. The Logitech camera is freaking out. Yeah, that's weird. Not cool. wonder if it's the lights behind me. Probably. Maybe that's knocking it out. Oh, well. Yeah, we're there anyway. <laughs> All right, I posted the link in the chat. You guys, seriously, go go check it out. It's, it's really cool. It's a good uh, dual extrusion print if you have like an A10M, a mixing head, or even a single extrusion. You can I need get to start doing it. some more prints with the A10M. I got to get the spool holder things put back on there. They Dude. got knocked off whenever somebody was hauling it around. <laughs> Don't know who that was. <laughs> Let's see what Eddie posted a link to because I don't have my laptop with me. It's over at the house. Oh, okay. So I, I literally packed only what I needed to bring down with me because this was a uh, pre moving out drop off. Oh, it's uh, the link he posted is an MKS Gen L V1.0 mount adapters for a TiVo, TiVo Tornado control box. So if you were to put Ooh. a uh, different, a proper board in there, oh, yeah. that's a fast print. What are you doing, you little dork? <laughs> she's not interested no more one thing i will say that i'm going to print up for my um a10m is a cable chain at least for the heated bed cables yeah just to make it neater and i might do that as well for the um x-axis carriage but we'll see that'd be a fun project for after finals because the nice thing is there's a lot of prints for the Ender 3, which is practically a cousin to the A10 and the A10M. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of stuff for the A10 or the A10M, but if I can take Ender 3 things and they're cross-compatible, yeah. I don't have to sit there forever and design it or go out and spend buku bucks on something I don't need. So win-win there. So. Yeah, true. Yay, Aaron fixed his laptop so we can now do Google Hangouts. Oh, sweet. What's up, TK? I see you, know, I see you change your name. TK 3D prints. <laughs> oh, wait. Should we show them the uh, sad, sad, failed? I didn't want to show them those. This is sad right the here. Head, the Headless Dragons. <laughs> Why in the heck did you use so much infill, Calvin? You know, I don't understand why. 
I, I didn't think I had the info set that high. But also that is uh zigzag, so it's uh, it's it could be like twenty percent. Yeah, I would have dropped like ten, honestly. I that the, that or done where it does like the adaptive infill. Yeah. Something like that, and just set it to like twenty percent for near the top and like five percent for the middle. Yeah. Oh wow, they print without infill? Well, that's cool. Yeah, they can. Dude, that that's some really good modeling right there. If if something that complex can be printed without infill, that is Sweet. Eddie says you're killing him. Am I? Mission working. <laughs> I got to admit, that dog is fun. She's a good little girl. Yeah. She's precious. Well, duh. She smells good because I gave her a bath last night and I used my perp plus on her. <laughs> no wonder she smells like... I'm like, why does she smell like human shampoo? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tanner 3D says he's working on his hauler right now, which is over a meter in length. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're they're a little bit on the heavier side, but they're, they're Jimmy's prints, not mine, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> what you need to do is seriously save up like all your dead prints and then we come up with like a shredder or something and then melt it into like giant Lego blocks or something. I want to leave a nice carbon footprint. I want the whole world to know I lived. <laughs> As we have, and I'm not going to get it too close, we have uh, this wonderful fire starting little cook everybody in the room going. Things yeah. working pretty good, isn't it? Oh, heck yeah. Because uh, please, please throw money to Jimmy because he ran out of kerosene and we're not having to use propane to heat the room, but kerosene is way better. He ran out of all the free kerosene I gave him. Yeah, I have to pick up another, another gallon of it. I think I just dropped it. Did I ever show you that other lighter? Is that yellow box over there? Yeah, you showed me the model like okay. plasma. That looks pretty cool right there. Yeah. Just don't ever stick your finger in there. I am not going to stick my finger in there. Do you think I'm that stupid? Oh, gosh, <laughs> that just goes through your head. <laughs> Rip headphone users. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, it is actually kind of cold out here right now. Yes, I'm I'm holding her nice and close to keep me nice and warm. Now I always hold her close. It's just what he does. Don't I? I will hold you close, don't I? Oh, she's she wants she wants back over to to Uncle Calvin now. My evil plan is working. When we first got her, she couldn't even raise her ears up. They're always down. Oh, wow. And the vets all tell us, said, Yo, you want to grab hold of her ears and you want to rub them. And <laughs> oh, there she's cuddling. TK says it's really cold out there. Oh, I can imagine it is. Let's look at the weather for out here. <laughs> if that dog does get bigger, I'm going to start plotting. <laughs> According to Google, it's 52 degrees out here. Sounds about right. Yeah, it's, it's not horribly cold. It's just got a little bit of a chill in the air. But and what, ironically, even when, when we get down to the 30s, it doesn't feel... It, right now, it probably feels colder than it does when it hits in the 30s, which is weird. Well, back where I live, it's about 60 right now, but it's pretty cold and overcast. So, yeah. Aaron says 35 degrees there with wind. Eee. No, thanks. I, I get I get it bad enough in like my 50 degree room if I don't turn the heater on. So. Yeah. But then again, I'm all of like, let me do the math on it. <laughs> to case was saying, are you sure you didn't, didn't get hold of a British fox? No, she is part Chihuahua, part, what's that? Chihuahua and what's some fluffy looking dogs? Pomeranians? Yeah, Pomeranian, and then I think a little bit of poodle. Somebody said that one of, the, one of them had some poodle in it. So, Yeah, I'm all of 62 kilos, so there ain't much on me. 62 kilos. Because everybody accuses me of not using metric measurements, I'm not going to make them happy and use them. Yeah, that is swimming temps. <laughs> Yeah, see a little fox. 
<laughs> Jimmy comes walking in with his little dog in the big old heater, and I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> Yeah, Robbie, you know it's cold when you have to bump your heated bed up to 60 for PLA. Hashtag first world problems. <laughs> I know that well. Oh, I was going to ask in the chat, do you guys have any pointers for working with an AC heated bed? I went ahead and for the form bot, which is down there, which you guys won't see because it's a complete and utter... Uh, mess right now. I went out and bought a 750 watt. It's designed for a CR10, uh, 120 volt heater bed. And I also got an appropriate solid state relay for it. Do you guys have any tips for working with those? I know there's videos on it. I was just curious if you guys had any good pointers or not. Well, we're streaming because it never hurts to ask. Yeah, never does. I do know for a fact though, I am going to ground um, the body of it. So just in case something does short out with it, it will instantly, um, hopefully eliminate that risk. Yeah. That's, that's for sure. If I'm messing with anything with 120 volts on that thing, the chassis is getting grounded just to be on the safe side. Cause I do not want to get shocked by that stupid thing. I think she just went to sleep. Yeah. She is asleep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you have stuck her nose in in my hand and <laughs> went to sleep. <laughs> yeah, well, but tip, I'm trying to not electrocute myself or Ashley from Chip Builds, who's eventually going to get the printer so she can get started in 3D printing as well. So yeah, neither of us want to get zapped. That's half the fun. No. <laughs> well, 110 only gives you a little tickle. It's not going to like not gonna, do anything major. It's not like 480 or something like that. So or 220. 220 will stop your heart. But yeah. No, I've, I've just touched, give you that funny little tickle on your I've done I've touched 110 before while being insulated, and it's like, oh, I felt weird. You know, you know when you've touched 110 when it's live. So there's your chance. Ah! <laughs> that reminds me. Oh, I love the scene when we were filming the installing the better grounding clamp on the welder. I totally got Ashley so good when we went to cut into the grounding core. The welder was off, and even if it was on, there's no way you would have gotten shocked by it. But I was cutting into the wire, and I'm like, ah, like that, and totally caught her off guard. Oh, it was so funny. Man. Yeah, Robbie, I'm going to be sort of the guinea pig. I think Tom's 3DP has some videos on working with SSRs and things like that. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. I understand the science of how it works and all. The plan is... I'm actually going to have the driver board working with the SSR to drive the heated bed. So it will be all part of the same system. I don't, what I'm trying to avoid, and if I have to, I will do it, is using a separate thermostat to drive the board. The heat bed, because just in case you forget, I, you know, in case you forget to turn on or off the heat bed, I don't want it to be an issue. I want it to be a all integrated in there so the printer knows when the heat bed is heated and it goes and all that stuff so that's kind of what i'm going for is just simplicity sure you're gonna have two plugs to work with but it makes it easier yeah you know because if i'm gonna do it from spending like 50 or 60 bucks on the heat bed i want to make sure i do it right yeah uh, i think it's canovo but it's just the ac heat bed i have a separate thermostat unit that I picked up for building a heater for the Moai and the Ultimaker, but I've kind of given up on the heater on the Ultimaker, but I do need to work on the heater for the Moai. What the heck? You're just too much fun. You're right. What's wrong? Okay, you want to just hug. Okay. Here, let me uh, post up the link to, to the uh, heat bed real quick. You need to go outside? Or you want mommy? Probably wants Beth. Probably. She's a she's a mommy's girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Give me a sec here, guys. I'm... Digging it up. <laughs> yeah, she cuddles all the time. I can tell. 
<laughs> Nathan Allen so that I used to see you two not split up, split screen more separately. <laughs> yeah, we came back from Denny's and it was like, you know what? Let's do the let's do a live stream. Okay, that sounds good. What scale do you prefer your trains? Me, I do one forty eight scale narrow gauge. Um, I'm modeling ON thirty, which is approximately 30 inch narrow gauge oh and three is 36 inch narrow gauge so the stuff that i do is a lot smaller but a friend of mine we're working on um getting a cab and boiler conversion kit going using the moai to sell on the group so yeah it should be fun give me a second guys <laughs> Amazon makes the world's longest shareable links because they have to include the stupid description. <laughs> no, I keep, keep expecting to see Calvin go fuzzy while Jimmy stays in focus. <laughs> Recently, the internet over by my place has been really, really in and out. Are you still using the Comcast login? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's just... Somebody's uh, limiting the bandwidth, probably. Yeah. Because they know somebody's tapping their internet. <laughs> hey, it's a login. I don't see what the yeah, problem it's, is. It's a hot spot, so. Oh, uh, it's not letting me post the link. Okay, whatever. I give up. I'll tweet it out to you guys later. Cal fuzzy. <laughs> well, usually when I'm streaming, I'm using the built-in um, camera on the laptop, so that's not very great. And then when you include compression, it just is like, whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh you guys are killing me this is great it's a cold spot <laughs> yeah it's a little cold out here on set it's not bad right now that heater's got it up got, no it the heater's warm. good it's just before it was a little bit on the cold side <laughs> yeah i have a fuzzy uh -oh. face too i need to uh here i'll get it for you never mind Let's see who it is i need to find my uh Shaver. That's George. Oh. Oh, yay. He got certified. Sweet. Tech 2. Means he can do alignments now. Sweet. Yeah. Speaking of alignments, mm -hmm. is my alignment like crazy bad or mediocre average? bad? Okay. Not like it's going to fall apart tomorrow bad. No. Okay. But if you swing past, uh, or if you at least buy the six month alignment before uh, Monday, that's fifty nine something right now. Okay. It's like less than it's less, less than sixty bucks. It's not too bad. Yeah. I'll think about it. Oh, what's wrong, little girl? No, this she's is checking things out. She's never been over here before. Uh, she's probably all like confused. Yeah. She's like, this is my house. I don't know what this is. What are these things behind you that are blue? Yeah, TK, part of the problem is the roads out here, especially out in San Francisco or Daly City, technically both because I go to school in San Francisco and I live in Daly City. But the roads out here are so bad anymore with potholes and everything. I am not surprised my alignment's a bit out, to be honest. Say hi to the internet. Come on, say hi. Say hi. She's like, Nick, no, I'm not doing that. Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, like I was telling, like I was telling my neighbor earlier today, I'm like, honestly. I'm about ready to buy some magnets and put them underneath the bumper of my car. So when I'm going down the road, I have a better chance of catching all the screws and nails. I want to impale my tire before they get in there. And yeah, more than likely you'll pull them up just enough. So that they'll hit right. Yeah, I know. Tires. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's pathetic anymore. It's like, I mean, whatever it is, what it is, but it's just, it's annoying is what it really is. I mean, I'm I'm happy that the screw in my tire didn't go all the way through, but it's it's kind of stressful when you find something like that and you're like, oh shoot, is it you know an issue or not? He says, Need an editor, so I'll bring the turkey and we'll take care of the toy dog. <laughs> Robbie's asking, oddball question, have to go mattress shopping tomorrow. Anyone have any recommendations? 
Nope. Honestly, it's whatever feels the most comfortable to you because they have hard mattresses. They got soft mattresses. You got the coil. You got the foam. Uh, I'm I'm the type where I need one's kind of a media kind of in between. I can't stand a really hard mattress. Um, if I get a really hard mattress, end up having one of those eggshell things to put on top. You know the foam yeah topper, but the memory foam ones they're kind of cool. If all you're going to do is sleep on it, if you got other ex- extracurricular activities you're wanting to perform. Might be a little bit hard. <laughs> the one thing I will say about a foam, two things I will say about a foam mattress, being that my sister in her tiny house has a um, pretty much just a chunk of memory foam that she would sleep on. Um, the main problem is if it gets cold or hot, the viscosity of the foam changes the hardness of it. So if it's really warm and the foam goes through like that, if it's cold, man, that thing will not sink in it. Although all. they do have one that's the blue memory foam, which they're talking about Casper, which Casper is one of the the blue memory foams that one's not as bad as the older fashion okay like a tan colored memory foam yeah but the other problem with um m- with foam is your body heat will break yeah. down the foam pretty quickly within a couple of i know some people who have like tempur pillows and they buy like the replacement warranty with it. Cause like every three months, the thing will just break down so much that it won't work. They got to re- and swap it. And I got like, my memory foam pillow at Walmart. And the thing is what a year and a half old, two years old n- nearly. And still works perfectly fine. Yeah. It's, it, and then I only paid like what? 20 bucks for the thing. Cause one of those contour pillows. So it kind of comes up under my neck. Mm-hmm. Um, when I started having a lot of neck problems and was going to the chiropractor, they mentioned getting something like that and it's done wonders for me. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's all preference. It's all preference. Whatever feels the best for you. Ditto. I mean, sometimes they're going to try selling you on a $5,000 mattress. You're going to lay down the thing and you're going to go over there to the sneaking $500 mattress and it's going to feel better for you. Yeah. No, the one thing I will say is for the longest time when I was at my grandmother's house, I kid you not, guys, I slept on a horsehair mattress on top of box springs. Yeah, purple is kind of an odd looking one, but yeah, I've heard I've heard about the smell on that one. In fact, most of your memory foam mattresses are going to have a smell to them. <laughs> I like Walmart. I just sleep on the couch because it's too hot in the bed upstairs. Yeah, there's your problem. <laughs> Who needs a mattress? Yeah, definitely let it air out for a few days because if it sits inside a bag, man, it's going to like just stew in its own stench. Yeah, it will. Shoot. Maybe that's still going to smell. Oh, yeah. For like a month. Yeah, it's off gassing all that lovely cancer causing stuff. Just breathe deep. Oh, yeah. Ooh, cancer. It's, it's like me tomorrow night. <sighs> yeah, yeah, Robbie. I've, I, I have never bought a mattress in my life, and it's one of those things that I really don't want to do, but oh well. It's not that bad. You come to it when you come to it. I just can't bring myself to spend over $1,000 for a mattress. I just can't do it. No, and honestly, I can understand for somebody who desperately needs it for, say, orthopedic reasons or something like that. Yeah. Then that's understandable, but otherwise it's just those, stupid. Uh, that uh, sleep number bed? I just cannot ten thousand dollars. What? Ten thousand? I believe. What was those... what was the brand that made the, the 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 adjustable beds that they had the commercials for? Oh, Posturepedic or whatever it was. Oh, even before that. Oh, this was like the mid nineties, with like the old people, and they were talking about how they could adjust their bed how they wanted it. <laughs> I thought that was Posturepedic. I can't remember. It might have been. You poke it and you raise up. And watch yeah. TV. And yeah. Because eat your I TV have, dinners. Because I have back when TV dinners came in aluminum pans. They're all aluminum. <laughs> oh, this was funny in my. Um, oh, that's right. I said aluminum instead of aloe. Ali, uh, yeah, whatever that is. No, it, yeah. If you want to say it like Jimmy, you call it aluminum. You just get rid of the A and it's aluminum. No, it's aluminum. No, it's aluminum. Yeah. It this starts is, with an A. No, no, no. This. It's made with aluminum extrusion. Okay. You're welcome. 
And you say wash how? Wash. And how do you spell that? W A R S H. <laughs> it's a winner. It's a W I N D R. <laughs> the things I do to annoy you is so much fun. Yeah, Robbie, just print yourself a bet at this point. I mean, shoot. I just triggered everybody overseas. <laughs> Ali minimum. <laughs> no, it was funny because in my uh, visual design literacy class, the instructor was showing a photo of like two pies that were like, somebody had cut a pie tin to make it so they were like two partial pies. So it was almost like a pie Venn diagram that they had baked. And I was, I raised my hand and the instructor was like, yeah, Calvin. I'm like, so how in the world did they do that? Did they like weld it together or something? She goes, I would love to see you weld two pythons together, Calvin. I'm like, oh, I will so do that at some point and then send you the link later. On this week's episode, I'm proving to my teacher, you can weld two aluminum pythons together. All right, let's weld. This week, I'm going to do one further. I'm taking two sheets of aluminum foil and I'm going to weld that together. I ain't got a TIG welder yet and I ain't got pure helium yet. Squirrel. Yes, Printer Noob knows what's up, squirrel. <laughs> or floofy dog. Floofy oh, dog. I've, I've never checked out uh, Chuck's... Is this all the junk that came with Chuck's thing? No. Oh, okay, never mind. The glue stick is, though. Oh, I've never checked out Chuck's the little glue stick. Thing. And I've got these. Oh, there we go. Yeah, TK welding aluminum is like the most fun thing in the world. Those are actually some nice um, needle nose. Yeah. For being a non-brand, those are nice. Oh, yeah. Here's the brush. It goes in there too. That the brush is like your typical Harbor Freight or hardware store special, but nothing wrong with that. No, I mean, no point. What's the point in having a ten dollar brush in there if you're just going to wreck the thing over time, anyways? Well, those are some nice little uh, cutters. Yeah. Nice. So far, Calvin like you've got some uh, blue stick. Blue stick. Personally, I like the Elmer's Extreme, but that's for more extreme situations. Literally, it sticks practically anything down. That's Avery right there. Nice little file. Yeah. Nice handle. I know. That's a nice little handle on it, isn't it? Yeah. Sure beats stabbing yourself in the hand. Calipers, a little bit to be They get designed. a little bit twitchy all of a sudden. Well, they're made of plastic. Yeah. I'm not surprised that they're... Wow. Whoa. Geez. Yeah, something went... I don't know what happened since is probably a few days later i went to use them a this is like the second or third time i tried using them and something went twitchy on the dial on, on it yeah those aren't the calipers could probably be left out honestly they're pretty they're pretty bad i'll be honest but whatever it does have a guarantee so i can definitely warn you out oh i would because those things are bad yeah. oh geez that's sharp <laughs> <laughs> gee there's a wire brush Oh, I stabbed myself. And it's a stainless <laughs> one at that. Actually, Eddie, this one is literally made from completely all plastic. It doesn't even have any metal on it. Hey, what's up, Rick? Hey, Rick. What's up? What's up, dude? Long time no see. And then the... Uh, it's actually a nice little cutting pad. Yeah, it is. I thing is thick. And it's pliable, too. Well, my one bit of advice, don't leave these in the sun. They will warp permanently and that's bad but no that, that's other than the calipers that's a nice little kit right there i did break the zipper on the bag though and the zipper on the bag that you broke uh check did uh, contact me and say that they are going to be making a little bit larger bag good idea so when they do that you might uh i'll get my address i'll send me one something something somewhere in salinas yeah which reminds me, uh, the P.O. Box for yes. the business. Yes. They have now made it where it can be used as a street address. Ooh. So I've got to go and fill out the paperwork and take it up there to show them. I, I took it over uh, per, for personal reasons. So hopefully eventually I get that all set up. So in case anybody ever wants to send anything, I can just give them that. Yeah, that's the nice thing about having my UPS mailbox is it literally looks like a street address, 1559B Slow Boulevard, number 449, San Francisco. You know, it literally yeah. is a street address, and they will take deliveries from anybody, which that's is good. really nice. Well, that's though, what this is supposed to do once that once I felt this paperwork and take it up there. It's it's free. 
but they uh, just give you an actual like yeah, it's an actual address. So UPS, FedEx, DHL, anybody can can because that was be people's biggest complaint with PO boxes is you could only get deliveries from um, the post office and sometimes you could get a street address for it some of them did it some of them didn't so when i figured out the ups store would give you just a straight up street address i'm like i'll just pay a little bit extra and go with them rick says he's got a black screen can't see us huh try yeah. refreshing it you, you had us on there a little bit ago didn't you yeah in front of my phone look at that look at that Robbie's going 10 watching, only five likes. Come on, people. We should have 15 likes by now. I should be monetized by now, but I'm not. So that's just the hard reality of life. <laughs> oh, don't, don't believe me. There'll be at least one or two dislikes before the stream's over. <laughs> oh, I know. I already got a dislike on my sanding stick. There'll video. be somebody saying, Why are you holding a rat for? <laughs> My stepdaughter, we, she drives by the other day, pulls right next to us, and she's like, what are you holding? That looks like a rat. <laughs> That's my baby girl. You don't call her a rat. <laughs> Which one was that, Crystal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she'd do that. Yeah, she'd do that. No, I still love it because everybody on Instagram claims to be a small pet expert. They constantly confuse guinea pigs and hamsters as the same thing, which they are not. They're not? No. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody as a joke made their Instagram name. I'm not a hamster. Have you ever seen those Russian hamsters? No. They're really, really small hamsters. We used to have one. Right. Uh, they're really, really cool. Because, I mean, hamsters are like the size of a golf ball, practically. Football doggy. This one's a little bit smaller than a football, I think. Well, compared to an AFO fireball. Doggo? AFO fireball for scale. How'd you take mouse? <laughs> hey, does it work on the dog? Yeah, it does. Oh my god! <laughs> this is so much fun. Wait, we can measure the dog with the calipers. Never mind. Samsung S9 <laughs> takes up her whole back. <laughs> yeah, it's only three months old at this point. So, how long are you going to print a dog bed on the Zone Star? On the Zone Star, oh, it would take it quite a while. I'll print it on the on the Tornado. At least the Tornado can print. What about the uh, A30? What's that? What about the A30? Oh yeah, definitely. In fact, I need to break the A30 back out. And... Yeah, you need to break the A30 back I need out. To, I need to dust it. Wow, Calvin, your printer is so filthy. Uh, oh my gosh! Oh, my goodness, I didn't even realize it got that dusty. Oh my gosh, Calvin, clean your printer off. That's filthy. No, that was your that was your uh, laptop. I think when I'm down south, I'm had gonna to clean all that spooge off there that night. Remember? Oh, that was great. I don't even know. What, I don't even want to know what you had on your laptop, man. Man, I'm gonna have to see my dad's can of uh, can there when I go down south and clean out my laptop because that thing's probably full of crap. Probably. Because where I live. The grandma's was not, it was like so dusty. It was not even funny. I could says, I'm not knocking her. Mine is five pounds and tiny as well. Yeah, she's three pounds. That's what they weighed her at today. It said she gained a pound in two weeks. Dude, it's all those Burger King chicken nuggets. I'm telling Burger you. Burger King chicken nuggets and Thanksgiving and, food. And I actually see what she eat for Thanksgiving. I think we gave her a little bit of turkey. I remember right. Yeah, TK, Dr. Dr. Evil Laugh is in the house. <laughs> Spooch. Oh, <my> <laughs> oh, man. I no. would never chuck her across the room. Never, 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 never. Not even for five bucks. No. Feel five. free to donate five bucks, though. I mean, that would help cover my dinner. Not even for $500. I would never, ever, ever throw her across the room. She's too precious. Oh, heck no. She's a good little girl. No, not six bucks. <laughs> well, dude, you're going to be driving back tonight? Potentially. Okay. I'll probably go back to the camper and sort things out a little bit more, make sure I got my trunk cleared out. Yeah. If you guys are wondering why I'm down here, um, next week is finals for me. Just keep me in your thoughts and prayers on that one. I'm not too worried about it, but 
that should be fun. And then probably either midday Wednesday, what I might end up doing is probably midday Wednesday when I'm done, because I have a final in the morning, I'll have to double check. I don't think I have any other finals after that. Yeah. Hit the road because, and then drive my way on down to your place, load up the car with as much stuff as I can. Because I'm going to have the printers in the car. I'm probably just going to drop them off the ho- drop them off in the uh, camper just because of space reasons. Load up as much crap as I can to the car, go down south, and then I'm going to have to make a second trip, hopefully in Danielle's Forerunner for the space so I can grab the rest of the crap that you've been holding on to forever. Because there's a lot of stuff that got pulled out of the house at the last minute because escrow took getting it into escrow took so long. And then I had some stuff I just didn't need to bring with me. So I'm going to try and condense down what I need to bring back with me and figure all that out. And then I might go up to Walnut Creek and grab my Moai, but that's kind of 50, 50 if we don't decide to just grab another one. So we'll see about that. But the main thing is, Getting my printers down south, getting the stuff out of poor Jimmy's camper because I feel like a jerk story in there forever. <laughs> That's all right. Thanks again, dude. But the nice thing is if I if I just have to drive it to your place, it's only about a five hour drive, four or five hour drive, which isn't too bad. Yeah. If I have to go all the way to like Walnut Creek or San Francisco. That's pushing like six, six and a half. I'm like, uh, no. Yeah. So what I will probably do is just crash, <laughs> crash for a couple of hours on Wednesday because I want to try and get out of the bay area as fast as i can so yeah. i don't have to hit traffic then when i get to your place it's easy peasy probably crash for an hour or two once get everything loaded and just head on down so i can see family and get the car unloaded and stop off at nana's oh heck yeah <laughs> one of the trips i'm going to nana's i might not go the first time just because i want to get down there but second time totally gotta go robbie's asking if we're going to murph i actually uh, um registered for it uh, when they had their pre-registration or whatever i registered for it i have to see how things are going uh at this point everything is kind of up in the air uh, i have to see kind of how everything pans out financially and time wise time and job and <laughs> see what's going on at that point i would love to go but i'm kind of in the same position being that i don't even know what my school schedule is going to be because Registering for classes at SF State is just a total crapshoot at this point. So we'll see how that goes. But I, I never registered for it. And I, I just I'd love to go. Also, flying on my knees, which are getting even worse, is just not even something I want to do. I mean, just driving the two hours to get down here was bad enough when I hit Morgan Hill and got stuck in traffic. And I'm like, oh, I don't yeah. like traffic. So that's when I started hitting back roads. Thought about that, but then I was like, you know what? I know the traffic clears up pretty soon. So yeah, it was like, I'm not going to get stuck on back roads I'm not familiar with. <clears throat> yeah, that's a pretty long trip. But we live in California. That's in what? Goshen, Indiana. So it's you have to fly like 2,000 miles. You probably would have to fly about four and a half, four to five hours to get there. Plus at least an hour, hour and a half worth of driving on top of it. So much as I'd love to go for multiple reasons, I just don't think it's going to happen. So, but I will hopefully be at Bay Area Maker Fair this year. That's pretty oh, much. Oh yeah, it. I'm planning on being there because uh, finals <clears throat> ends right around when Bay Area Maker Fair is scheduled for next year. So when they start doing the sign up for media badges, I'm going to definitely put in for that. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Robbie. Hey, Robbie, thank you. Appreciate it. That helps cover dinner. He said, show a little leg. <laughs> Dude, I swear, like everything on this dog is just like not proportioned correctly, but it's awesome. She's got really short legs. Really short when legs. When she walks, she's like hopping along. She, I mean, can't see her when she's on there. But her legs are really short. They're so cute. <laughs> oh, he met Murph. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tag a few more zeros on there and it'll totally happen. <laughs> no, I, I would love to make it out to Murph at some point. I um, definitely want to get back there. Same here. If I went to Murph, I would totally see if somebody... I would... want to go back to Chicago again. I want to try another Chicago pizza. This time I got to go to Illuminati's. I have to go to Illuminati's. I know it sounds like I'm saying Illuminati, but I'm not saying Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> No, I would love to go to Murph and bring some of my 3D printed train stuff because that I think people would really 
appreciate if they saw it in person because i know a lot of people at train shows are blown away by the train stuff that i bring but i think at a 3d printing event they would go nuts over it because yeah. matt over at printed solid is actually curious if i can make up a couple of models to show over at his place because people are starting to ask about 3d printing with trains eons ago i promised matter hackers i'd send them something so i'm like i gotta work on this because people are curious about it so i need to do more than make a stinking hex tile <laughs> yeah so we'll see I think somebody's wanting to go do something. Same here. Are you, are you needing to go pee pee too? No, I'm needing to go double check. I got my car downloaded and hit the road. All, if I leave, if I left right now, I won't make it home till at least midnight. Yeah, true. So, because it's literally a two-hour drive from here to Daly City. But the nice thing is, there shouldn't be any traffic. Oh no, there won't be any traffic at all. Which is the one. I mean, it's like when I'm leaving, it's like, do I either sleep during the day for a few hours and hit the road late at night? which I might, you know what? I might actually just do that on Wednesday. So I don't have to stress it. I'll just go do my final, go to the house, let everything up and then leave don't, later in the day. Don't ask me how I know, but uh, you can drive from here to Krispy Kreme donuts up in Mountain View in like less than 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love that story. Possibly 30 minutes if you drive fast enough. <laughs> Considering you don't drive fast enough already. No, no, no. I don't. He's not even the fastest dude on the freeway. And I'm like, why are you going fast? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so, so just so while everybody's here, what do you think our streaming schedule will be because of the holidays? <sighs> Anything planned or is it just going to be, if we decide to do something, we decide to do something. Uh, at this point, probably just go ahead and try to shoot for Thursdays like we normally do. But there's just like, yeah, I have to play it by ear, I think. Okay. Cause I, I know, know you got stuff going on and I'd, I've got stuff coming up too. And, you know, it's just one of those things where we're just half played by ear. And... For sure. What I might do if I have time this weekend is I might do a solo stream where I, because I'm I'm literally running out of time to do Christmas prints and I keep finding more and more good stuff. I think I might just, I'm going to release my regular video that I'm planning to do. That'll probably be sometime tomorrow because I haven't had time to film it. And I need to print Alkish's one, at least one of his prints when I get home tonight. Yeah, I might. Is it if it's cool with you? I might bum one or two more spools off just to use for the filming, yeah. and then I'll just drop them off when I see you again. Yeah, no problem. Okay, that'd be perfect because I want to. I want to show it with the A10M doing the color change because that's kind of the whole point behind printing it on there, you know. And also just for the camera, so I want to get that done. But that's probably going to be mid midday because when I get home, it's I'm just going to start printing and go to bed. Yeah. But then I also got to get ready for finals. I got to write a paper for one, but that's not too hard. I'm not too worried about that. But I just want to get, you know, I'm trying to also get things in my spare time, like pulling out extra clothing I don't need from my drawer so I don't forget anything while I'm gone for a month, month and a half. Just making sure that, you know, when it comes time for me to head on out, I can do it as efficiently as possible so I can get on the road because I want to get down south and see family and see grandma and things like that because yeah. it's been a while, so... Get, get cranking out the last of my Christmas presents. I wasn't able to get printed, all that good stuff. So that's cool. kind of the goal, but yeah. Well, from me, Precious, and Jimmy, wishing you guys all a Merry Christmas and have fun. We'll Happy stream printing. again before Christmas. Probably. Oh, yeah, we will. Guys, thank you very much for joining us. Have a great night. We will catch you next week on mine? Yours? Yours? Okay. Mine. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Just, just stay tuned on Twitter. We'll broadcast it. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, have a good night. Take care. We'll catch you later. Peace out.